Hey guys, it's me, Steve, uh, coming to you from Globe Talk 100K. Uh, I've got another video for you, a tutorial on Windows speech recognition. It is the free program from Microsoft. It comes with all modern day uh, Windows operating systems that I know of. I'm using Windows 7 myself. If you want to access it, you go to the Start button in the lower left-hand corner here, like so. Type in Windows Speech Recognition, and you'll find it, and you can access it. Uh, I'm not going to do it today, but uh, that's how you do it if you want to get to the program. I'm going to do this. This is going to be the first part, part one of a series of tutorials on the subject of Windows speech recognition because I was looking at the manual that Microsoft provides, which I will show you how to access later on. Um, but the point is, it's quite extensive. And when I looked at it, it was quite overwhelming. And the first part of it is going to be, let me back up. The first part, in the first part, I'm going to start, um, in the first part, let me try that a third time. In the, in the first part, I'm going to start talking about punctuation and unique characters. So let's get started. <clears throat> Excuse me. In order to write what you want on the computer screen, this is what you need to do. In order to have a period show up on the screen, say the word period. So we will go to Windows Speech Recognition as it is down here, turn it on, and I'll show you what I mean. Mary had a little lamb, period. You'll note that I created this sentence with a period at the end of it just by saying the word period, as I said before, as you saw on the screen before. So that's how you do that. Let's try another one. In order to have a question mark show up on the screen, say the phrase question mark. Would you like a glass of milk question mark? And again, as I said earlier, when you want to put a question mark at the end of a sentence, you just say the word question mark or the phrase question mark. Now, to show you where the manual is so you can get all this information if you don't know where to get it from, I'll show you that too. You turn on speech Windows Speech Recognition, and you say, What can I say? And there you have it. Here are common commands in speech recognition. And of course, you can print it out and expand it. And this 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 will help out greatly. Okay, that's it for today. 
That's part one, the beginning of a series of tutorials for Windows speech recognition. If you have not seen something that you want covered on speech recognition, please wait. It will probably be covered in a future tutorial. In the meantime, please subscribe, rate, and please subscribe, rate, and send me any comments you like. And uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.